Hello people in this video we are going to deep dive into sea to know how many undiscovered creatures live in the deep sea. One thing is clear scientists aren't going to run out of new, deep sea species to find any time soon. In a recent three-year study in the Pacific Ocean, remotely operated vehicles photographed nearly 350,000 animals, fish, octopuses, corals, anemones, shrimp, squid, sponges, and sculpted, living mud balls called xenophyophories, the list goes on. Only one in five were known species. Not all the images were clear enough to identify, but most were organisms nobody had seen before. Whenever scientists look in the deep ocean they're pretty much guaranteed to find something new and unexpected. It's always an incredible adventure says Professor Randy Rotjan from Boston University who just returned from CO leading a month-long expedition to the Phoenix Archipelago in the central Pacific Ocean. Their mission on the Schmidt Ocean Institute's RV Fokker involved studying the ecosystems on seamounts. With the remotely operated vehicles, Subastian, the team conducted 21 dives and clocked up 250 hours underwater, gathering samples and high-definition video of corals, sponges and other intricate life forms. Standard techniques for studying deep-sea species involve a combination of visual recognition and collecting specimens for detailed analysis. Environmental DNA, which looks for DNA containing cells and mucus shed by organisms in large samples of water, is becoming a quicker and cheaper way of finding out which species are in the vicinity. Archives of genetic sequences from deep sea species are gradually being built. One day it should be possible to know whether a giant squid or a Greenland shark or any other mysterious deep sea denizen just swam by out of sight from the DNA they left behind. When Rotjan's team have finished analyzing their findings, they will undoubtedly be adding entries to the World Register of Deep Sea Species, which in mid-2021 listed 26,599 species, a number that's rising all the time. It's not just a catalogue of what's there, but why they're there who they're interacting with and what they're doing, says Rotjan. An aspect of deep-sea ecology that Rotjan is studying is the immune systems of corals that can live for thousands of years. She wants to understand how they heal from attacks by coral-eating predators, or coralivores. This could offer new insights into how innate immunity evolved among some of the earliest, multicellular animals on Earth. It could even have applications in medicine, because we share ancient ancestors with corals. Expeditions such as Rotjan's hold immense potential to inspire the public about the deep. Footage of deep diving whale sharks and a pair of exquisite glass octopuses sparked enormous responses online. For Rotjan, these glimpses of deep sea ecosystems are crucial reminders that we share the world with so much hidden life. What we really need, as stewards of this planet, is to protect our neighbors, she says. Thanks for watching the video. And subscribe to our channel for updates.